Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're going to look at creating our own modular house system. Before I get started, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and my members. Your names are going to be running across the bottom of the screen now. And of course, thank you to everyone who hits the subscribe and notification icon. That really helps me out. So in order for us to create this modular system, we need to decide on a couple of things. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one meter blocks which would allow us to put them all together and create our house so what we're going to do is create a geometry primitive like this i'm going to go with a cube and the average house has rooms that are about two and a half meters tall but in order to make life a bit easier we're going to make ours three meters tall just because we're not working with building materials so we don't have to worry about the cost and in order to make it easily to select one meter chunks, we're going to have it in six divisions. So we're going to hit accept like that. We're going to switch to wire texture shaded so that we can see our wireframe. And then we're going to frame up on our object. And what I'm going to do is in the perspective view drop down, I'm actually going to change to top view like this. Now we're going to select the geometry editor tool like this, which is the object that looks like a checkerboard with a pencil over it. And then we're going to select our cube in the scene tab and then we're going to right click check that our selection type is on polygon and that our selection mode is on marquee and then we're going to drag out a selection and we're going to take these two objects here you're going to hold down the control key we're going to take these two here like this and then we're going to come in so we end up with just a four blocks or a two by two and when we come into perspective view, we can check that that's all we've got selected, which is easy to do because we've been in, in orthographic in the, uh, the plan view. So we're going to right click on our shape, hit geometry editing, delete selected polygons. Yes. And that's left us with a one meter by one meter, three meter high block of wall with a bit of floor and a bit of ceiling. So the next thing we want to do is select those four planes on the bottom right click geometry assignment create a surface from selected and we're going to call this floor like so then we're going to flip our camera upwards and we're going to select the top four like that and we're going to right click there geometry assignment create surface from selected ceiling like that now i'm not going to show you i'm not going to go through rather the adding of materials to these surfaces because we've covered that in various different other videos so if you want to know how to apply different shaders to these surfaces then check out the other videos on the channel but that's essentially our first plane or our first object created so we can rename this one by one wall and then we can have fc so floor and ceiling like that and then we can save that as a scene subset and we can then keep dragging that in as much as possible so in the content library as you can see i've already got my chunks created but you'd simply go plus there scene subset and then save it under whatever name you want and then in the object the dialog that appears just hit accept and it'll select everything that you've got here so as you can see, I've got a number of items created that we're going to work on now. So this one we've done. So we're going to delete that. Now we're going to create a corner piece. So we're going to create a primitive, the same number of uh, divisions and everything. So we're just going to go to our top view like this again. And this time we're going to select with our cube selected in the scene. We're going to select all of those and all of those. So it's only the top left corner geometry editing delete selected polygons yes please come back into our perspective view as you can see we've got a corner piece there so we're going to go to drag selection just so that we can select our floor pieces there geometry assignment create a surface from selected and floor and then the top four spin the camera around to make sure that that's all you've got selected right click Geometry assignment, create surface from selected ceiling. And then you can call this, say, uh, one by one. 
corner fc so that you know that it's got floor and ceiling save that as a scene subset as well obviously apply the shaders to it however you want to and that's that one done so the last basic basic piece that we want to create is going to be the filler section so we come into our top view again and this time we're going to select we need to make sure that we're back in marquee selection we're going to select the top sides and the bottom so that all we have left is a center section like that geometry editing delete selected polygon like that come into perspective view so that's going to be the bit that we use to fill in the gaps between our walls and again we're going to assign the surfaces so that's going to be floor and this one's going to be ceiling like that and save that as a scene subset obviously rename it to just like one by one fc or something like that so one by one fc and then you know what that object is when you drag it into the scene so those are the kind of the easy objects you could make one that's two by two if you wanted to using the same method or however big you want them to be the next thing that we want to work on though are the slightly more complex parts like the floor, um, ceiling and window. So we're going to create a new object, but this time we're going to multiply the number of divisions. In this case, we're going to go with 24. And that, as you can see, adds quite a bit more geometry to our object. So we need to be very careful about how many, sub, how many subdivisions we use and because we don't want to add geometry where there's not necessary. It's completely pointless, you see. So we're going to go into our top view again. Make sure that we've got our cube selected. Make sure that we're in marquee selection mode. And we're going to create a one by one window piece. So eight equals one meter. So we need to make sure that we've got eight unselected there check the count so as you can see i've actually stuffed up there so we need to start again so we're going to create you're going to select eight there hold down the control key select eight there i've still missed one out of there so we can go over that again and now we need to count so two four six eight so there we go double check one two three four five six seven eight that's fine right click delete selected polygons hit accept come into our perspective view and as you can see now we have our object so we're going to select the floor and assign that material now so create service from selected and we're going to say floor flip our camera up select the ceiling and we're going to assign that like that now the reason we've got more divisions is because we're about to create a window shape and in order to do that we need to have more divisions because you don't want the window to be the entire width of the object so most windows start from about half a meter before the edge of the top of the room so we're going to select from there and we want this window to have a pane as well so i'm actually going to select those polygons there then i'm going to hold down the control key and i'm going to make my window just under a meter off the floor so i'm going to go to about there and there you go so windows aren't empty spaces there and another surface so we're going to right click and then we're going to assign a new surface to this one and we're going to call this one window like that so now in our surfaces tab you can see we've got our floor our ceiling default is always going to be the material we use for the wall itself and the window so if we were to expand that and go down to the geometry we can actually reduce the opacity of that now and then we can see that that's the window piece like that so we're going to rename this cube one by one window fc like so 
and then we can save that as a scene subset as well and then we'll always know that that's our window basically <laughs> and you can experiment with this because um, what we're going to do now is we're going to shuffle this to one side like that and we're going to create another new primitive exactly the same number of dimensions like that and we're going to come back into our top view like so and this time we're going to create a door so a door is normally about a meter wide anyway so we're going to want to create this piece being two meters so we're going to select our cube we're going to right click in the geometry editor tool <laughs> make sure you've got the geometry editor tool selected we're going to right click and we're going to check that we're in marquee selection and then we're going to drag out four four divisions from the right four divisions from the left and then eight divisions so that's two that's four that's six that's eight we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight so we need one more there and we're going to delete selected geometry like that come into our perspective view there you go so we've now got a two meter by one meter chunk and we need to now select our door and because it's a bit of a pain trying to select those polygons individually without accidentally selecting something from the bottom we're actually going to do this manually using the drag tool so we're going to select four from either side and then we're going to go up four that's half a meter one two three four that's one meter one two three four that's another half meter one two three four and then that's two meters so we can come across and then down making sure that we're getting all of the right polygons and not getting any other ones we don't need just going to keep holding that mouse button down and we're going to select and drag out our door shape and then we're going to simply right click geometry editing delete selected polygons yes there we go so now we've got our shape we're going to right click again and go back to marquee selection and select our floor like that geometry assignment create surface from selected floor like that and then we're going to come and select all of our geometry for the ceiling geometry assignment create surface from selected ceiling and then we can call this a two by one door fc like that and then you could save that as a scene subset as well and then you've got a load of building blocks which i'm going to delete these ones you've got a load of building blocks that you can now use to create your own scene so we can start off perhaps with a door frame drag that into the scene reset our camera like this so that we can see and then the last thing that you need to do in order to use this kit is go to your move tool here and then in your tool settings you want to hit enable on snapping and then 50 centimeters is the ideal distance and then all that allows us to do is when we select our object you can move it in 50 centimeter increments so if we was to drag the let's just say a one by one wall with ceiling and floor we can now make sure that they always snap together like that and obviously it looks a bit weird with a different geometry there so if we just go to texture shader mode assuming that you've applied shaders to your floor and ceiling in each of your objects you can now create your own little rooms create uh, we just select that there and we can drag this to snap to there so we've got a window on that side and perhaps we wanted to put a corner piece and snap that and you can build your own rooms basically using this and that's really all there is to it i hope you found this useful let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye